Bailment and pledge. What is bailment? Bailment. When one person gives a goods to another person for certain purpose, after accomplishment of purpose, they should return the goods. When I left my phone in Cody's house, he should give it back to me. For giving it back, if he takes auto, I should reimburse the auto conveyance. Can you but understand? So this is what? Okay. When a goods is delivered by one person to another person for particular purpose, after accomplishment of purpose, he should return it back. This is called bailment. The person who is the owner of the goods, when he gives the goods to another person, he is called as bailar. The person who takes the goods is called bailey. Come and tell me who is bailar? Owner of the goods. User of the goods is called bailey. User of the goods is bailey. Owner of the goods is bailar. Essential characteristics of bailments. Essential characteristic of bailment. See, bailment can be expressed or implied. For example, if I ask, can you give me your pencil? Let me use it and give you. Express. Eh? Express. I went to Cody's house. I left my phone there. It is implied contract between me and Cody that he should return it back to me. Finder of lost goods. It is a implied bailment. What are two bailments? Express bailment, implied bailment. For example, if one person asks, for example, Sir, uh, or, or, one girl is saying to another girl, Hey, I need your um, chain. I need your chain. I will use your chain for one function. When I come back tomorrow, I will return it. Because I don't have a gold chain with me. Can you please give your chain? Can you please lend your chain to me? One girl is asking another girl. Now, this is express bailment. Then the second girl is giving the first girl her chain. And after accomplishment of the objective. So, the second girl, okay, the girl is going for attending reception and she is returning back and she is handing over the chain. So, whether you should give it back? Yes, you should give back. Can you able to understand? Sir, in bailment, only movable properties can be bailed. Immovable properties cannot be bailed. Come and tell me only movable properties can be bailed. Immovable properties cannot be bailed. Okay. In bailment, we should never mix the goods. We should never mix the goods. When we are getting, we are a bailey, we are also having our own goods. When the bailer is giving his goods, we we'll, we should not mix the goods. Understood? Next. In bailment, the possession of the goods should change from bailer to bailey. There should be a physical movement of goods. The possession of the goods should change. Ownership maral, but possession maro. Because yesterday the chain is with me. Now I gave the chain to you. The possession of the chain got changed. Okay, the possession moro. So bailment la condition number one na. Okay, it can be implied or expressed. Two, movable property. Three, possession is getting changed, but ownership will never change. And you should hand it over to the bailer. The bailey after accomplishment should hand it over to the, the returning the goods not physically return the goods. The la. Bailment order, basic characteristics. Next. Sir, I took your umbrella. It was raining. I came to your house. I asked, Darni, please give your umbrella. You gave me your umbrella. But what happened? I lost the umbrella. Now, can I buy a new umbrella and return it? Whether it is a bailment? No. You should return the same goods. Can you able to understand? Now, for example, I will tell you, we all are depositing cash in our bank account. So, 50,000 rupees, we are depositing cash. Tomorrow, we are going and withdrawing 50,000 rupees. 
now our money we gave to the banker and next day we are going and withdrawing whether it is bailment no why because notes are changed 50000 rupees worth da ana notes got changed so idu vera 50000 rupees this is not the same 50000 rupees understood da second example i will tell you we deposited gold gold irukku la gold ornaments we deposited in the locker bank or the locker la we kept the gold and banker have two keys banker have two keys one key he with uh, us one key with the banker tomorrow we cannot come day after tomorrow we came and we took the gold and the mari we are doing our goods when we are keeping in the bank locker and we are taking it back whether it is a bailment no no why see we have not transferred the possession to the banker and in fact the banker has not used it because double key put on the locker tarakku you have to open the with two keys unless otherwise your key is also put there bank locker cannot be opened can you able to understand so this is not a bailment can you able to understand now general issues in bailment custody and possession should change custody and possession should change but ownership should not change not to say custody and possession should change but ownership should not change next when money is deposited in the bank whether it is a bailment no it is not a bailment when ornament is deposited in the bank locker whether it is a bailment no it is not a bailment now i'll give you one uh, question you should tell the answer hiring of goods cycle what i get upon we will take higher cycle okay when we want to <coughs> practice <coughs> when you want to pra practice we will take higher cycle whether it is a bailment yes. yes it is a classic example of bailment physical movement of goods but ownership is not getting changed after accomplishment of the objective you are returning it back so everything is there this is the bailment can you able to understand next sir i give my goods as a security i give my goods as a security for the loan taken whether it is a bailment i go i give my goods as a security for a loan taken whether it is a bailment yes it is a bailment idu peru pledge bailment da bailment oda next stage okay caterpillar become butterfly mari okay adala ore species thana and mari ipo adu bailment ana it is called as pledge goods sent via carrier transporter okay ena solvanga na he should go and he is taking on our behalf if the person is not available there he should give it back to us so adu varaikku adu bailment nu solvanga okay that means the ownership doesn't change to the carrier okay when we give our cell phone for repair when we give our cell phone for repair whether it is a bailment it is a bailment because the entire thing is not getting changed it is small than change out so it is also bailment number mechanic shop la bike udron la it is also bailment so all these things are bailment understood the fan la off panna da nalla koorudhu inge irukku inge irukku next bailer's duty and rights first bailer's duty sir when i give a cycle in hire i am the cycle owner hire vendor i give the cycle i should tell that brake is not working properly 
if there is a defect in the goods i should tell that there is a defect in the goods okay so point number 1 na the bailer must disclose any defect in the goods point number 2 if there is any loss because of me to the bailey i should reimburse that loss because i have not told him that the brake is not working he went suddenly hit the brake but not happening he got he met with an accident so he claims from me enada when you are giving cycle you should check all the brake and all no so it is your responsibility ne? when the bailey puts the cales on bailer then the bailer have to pay the amount understood da? so bailer has to be responsible next the bailer is bound to accept the goods when the goods is getting returned for example one uh, one person took cycle on hire okay and uh, he took for uh, five hours now when he is coming back and returning the goods this bailer don't want to accept because he want the bailey to have the goods for some more time so that next hour he can raise the bill can be raised for next hour no 10 minutes kalichi when he is deposited then next hour potralam la so when the bailey is returning the goods it is the duty of the bailer to accept the goods so as of now what and all we studied whenever there is a defect you should disclose if there is a uh, expenses incurred because you are not disclosing that you should reimburse then take the goods back whenever it is getting returned understood ah next rights of a bailer point number 1 see when the bailey uh, made damages to our goods then we have a right to get the amount when the bailey damaged our goods we have a right to get our amount understood ah this is right of a bailer point number 1 anna when the bailey damaged our goods we have a right to claim point number 2 terminate the contract terminate the contract in case if the bailey does anything inconsistent for example uh, one bailey took the uh, cow for uh, graha pravesham so the owner of the cow lend the cow okay and another person took the cow for graha pravesham okay what happened he used the cow okay and put some weight and all they are taking photograph okay graha pravesham what we can do we can just ask the cow to come in and stand avladha so generally new house warming ceremony la what they will do a cow they will bring in they will just make them stand and let them go correct what this person is doing is in third floor and that uh, uh, house doesn't have any lift he went up and ran cow is now climbing the stairs how difficult it is puchi ran hmm adukapra anga third floor vechi photo eduthirukanga ellar mele ukara vechi okay maatu mele there are people are sitting and taking photograph then the owner of the cow just saw this what do you will do immediately you will take the cow can able to understand because if the bailey does anything inconsistent can able to understand if the bailey does anything inconsistent what they will do they will in cancel the contract the bailey should not mix the goods so it is a right of the bailer to tell the bailey you should not mix the goods because you also have same kind of goods you are taking this goods in hire you should not mix the goods then see in case if the bailer gives the bailey anything without any consideration for example girl 1 gave her chain to girl 2 girl 2 asked the chain for going and coming for a reception so the girl 2 took the chain from girl 1 and went for the reception she used this now there is no charge from girl 1 to girl 2 the girl 2 is not asking any amount from girl 1 so yaarum yaarum there is no remuneration for it idu idu per enna gracious bailment what is this called gracious bailment what is gracious bailment without consideration one person gives the goods to another person understood ah this per enna gracious bailment okay
Now, the bailer in the case of gracious payment has a right to demand the goods back even before the expiry of the bailment period. So, for example, Deepika took a chain, okay, from Sahana. Sahana, before Deepika returns the goods, Deepika asks Sahana one chain. She is now in the reception. She, suddenly, Sahana enters the reception and shouting, Deepika, give back my chain. Now, Deepika got very vexed. Now, it is a gracious bailment. She cannot do anything. Understood? In this process, if any lost cost to the bailee, the bailer have to compensate. It is not twist. So, you can claim vindictive damages. Okay. And the manavartam, you got humiliated. You can claim damages from here. So, this is called Sondha Salavala Suni Vachikaradu. <laughs> because Sahana has not received any remuneration for lending her goods. But what happened? Deepika has to return the goods on time. But Sahana has claimed the goods before that time. And before, uh, because of that, Deepika got humiliation. Can you able to understand? Can Deepika claim it from Sahana? Yes. yes. Now, imagine one hen okay, jumps the wall and goes to the next house. It lays eggs there. It lays eggs there. Now, this egg belongs to owner of the hen or the house owner in which the hen lays the eggs. Owner of the hen. Yenge vittu koli, yunga vittu lehundu mutta kottalo, enak daam mutta sotno. Okay. Now, I, we brought one uh, cow, no, for our graha pravesam. The cow gave birth to a calf. Now the calf belongs to whom? <coughs> owner of the cow. Not the owner of the house. Okay. <laughs> so, any incremental benefit also should be given back to the bailar. Care to be taken by the bailey. The bailey has to take care of the goods as if it is his own goods. The bailey has to take care of the goods as if it is his own goods. <coughs> Bailey is bound to take care as much care. Okay, the Bailey is okay bound to take as much care in ordinary prudence. Sir, in case if Deepika, who got a chain from Sahana, when he is going when she is going for reception, some thief came and snatched the chain and went. Now Sahana is asking Deepika, where is the chain, ma? Deepika is saying, Kaka Tin Poch now. Somebody has snatched my chain. Now tell me, who is responsible? Whether it is Deepika is responsible or Deepika is not at all responsible. We just now told they should take as much care, prudent, okay, best care. But what happens here? Okay, I took best care. Deepika took best care, but somebody came and snatched it. It is not responsibility of the Deepika. Our goods, she, she did the same care. So, what we can do? Deepika and Sahana go to police station and complain. Sahana cannot claim it from Deepika. Please understand, in a logic, it's a rule. Okay. Practical, Sahana Deepika is not going to be able But in this case, practically speaking, okay, Deepika is not. Can you understand there? She is because she took uh, adequate care. She took adequate care. Understood? Next. When see in the case la Deepika has escaped. I will tell you another case where Deepika will be liable. Sahana told Deepika, I am going outside state. Uh, I have fear. Because our door is locked, someone can come. 
active kind of uh, I will give you some jewel box of mine keep it in a safe custody don't keep it in your house also because all our house are not safe uh, tomorrow go and deposit in the bank locker since I am going urgently today I cannot do it please do it tomorrow but Deepika has kept it in her bureau before Sahana comes thief comes okay he took the goods Deepika says I am not responsible I took care diligence as a prudent person as a prudent person I took all the care and diligence but thief come and took it now Sahana is claiming against Deepika now whether Deepika is responsible or not yes. in this case Deepika is responsible why okay uh, Sahana specifically told Deepika that the goods should be kept in locker but Deepika didn't keep the goods in locker hence Deepika has to bear the loss can you able to understand so whether it is a bailment basically yes it is bailment when the goods are given from one person to another person without change in ownership for some purpose and they should return the purpose they should return after the purpose is over this transaction is called bailment understood if the ownership is getting changed then it is a sale when there is a remuneration and ownership when there is a consideration and ownership is getting changed then it is a sale so in your ownership change even with or without consideration ownership is not getting changed then it is called what rights okay bailey has certain rights okay see bailey has a right to terminate if the bailer does anything uh, inconsistent to the bailment rules then the bailey has a right to cancel the bailment so for example i asked the bailer to give me a better quality car for hire but the bailer has given an worst quality so immediately after a test ride what i will do i will surrender so contract of bailment is getting cancelled next duties and rights of a bailey what we studied now first initially duties and rights of a bailer first we studied duties of bailer you should disclose all the fact then you should reimburse the expenses incurred since he has not disclosed he should accept the goods when it getting returned then we studied rights of the bailey okay there we studied what uh, if the goods are used for unauthorized purpose he can claim damages okay then he can also terminate the contract okay in case they are so damages claim pannala, contract terminate pannala. then in case any incremental profit arises he has a right to claim it back like i told you cough for the cow understood so these are the examples for what okay rights of bailar now we are going to see rights of bailey first duty we will study like how we studied bailar we will study the duty <coughs> see the bailey should not use the goods for unauthorized purpose i ask the goods for a particular purpose then i should use the goods only for a particular purpose understood <coughs> then point number two the bailey should not mix the goods like what we studied in the bailar same thing next he should return after the expiry period he should return after the expiry period then nothing to do anything inconsistent okay no inconsistency so whatever the, it is to be used and you should use and you should not for anything so same thing come on tell me you should not use it for unauthorized purpose then don't mix it on expiry period return the goods nothing to do in uh, incremental benefit also you should return and uh, nothing inconsistent okay then rights of a bailey <coughs> in case if the bailey incurs any loss the bailey can claim compensation in case the bailey incurs any loss the bailey can claim what a compensation from whom so the bailey is having right of indemnification what is indemnification making good the loss so the bailey if he incurs any loss if he can get from baila that is nothing but what indemnification so the bailey has a right to get indemnified the bailey has a right to get indemnified 
in case if the bailar is not paying us the money can we retain the goods of the bailar the bailar has to pay us money he is not paying can we retain the goods yes, yes we can retain the goods come on tell me first point we can claim compensation that is called indemnification okay then we can have a lien lien means what we will not release the goods we will have the goods in our custody we will not release the goods that's called what lien lien is spelling l i e n l i e n l i e n means what i will not release the goods i will have it in my custody it's called lien see in case if the bailey has taken the goods on bailment from bailar but uh, suddenly some nowhere one third party comes he is disrupting he is disturbing bailey cannot use the goods when bailar is a real owner and bailey took the goods on bailment but a third party is disturbing can the bailey file the case against third party yes the bailar and bailey can file case against the third party who is disturbing the possession of the bailey the bailey eater possession irukada avan disturb panikite irukan so we can file a case so that's what i told when deepika took a chain from sahana when a thief come and stole the can deepika and sahana file a case against the third party yes because he disturbed the possession of the goods with deepika can you able to understand idu dad next duty of the finder of lost goods he is a bailey he is deemed bailey implied by the law, quasi contract basically idu quasi contract because i never had any intention and you also never had a intention to contract with me this is a quasi contract okay so the law created the contract finder of the lost goods what the per- person should do finder of the last goods should return the goods okay now what the bailar's duty the bailar has to pay compensation the bailar has to pay compensation uh, for the bailey see i will tell you if the money of common the, the expenses what he is going to incur is so much for example i left one uh, samsung guru phone which uh, purchased uh, almost like 15 years back 4400 rupees okay amir khan nal advertisement vanda samsung guru nor phone ku 1500 rupees ku or 15 years back and the uh, cell phone i left it hey for 5 minutes over so i left the phone uh, in uh, his house kodi's house when kodi has to catch a auto and come to my place and give it will take 450 rupees or 500 rupees today if i sell this phone also even if i kept in mount road okay even tomorrow if i come and so it will be there can you understand so if kodi claims sir up and down auto 1000 rupees up ku motto 500 rupees down ku another 500 rupees okay so a person if he thinks that the amount what he is going to incur is so much then he can retain the good with himself can you able to understand because finder of the last goods has a right to get reimbursement correct or illa if it is perishable in nature i left two eggs okay koi mutta i left two eggs Uh, and i went to selam i purchased two eggs i kept it in kodi's house i left it to selam kodi selam ke thana kodu rent from the no so if the goods are in perishable nature then finder of lost goods and all they can sell the goods sir what does the expenses versus amount na and the and the cell phone adike evlo expenses they can make up to two third value they can spend how much if the expenses is going to be more than two third then 
they can retain the goods can you able to understand if the expense is going to be more than two third they can retain the goods understood see there are i told you there are lean what is lean i told you retain the custody or retain the position it's called lean there are two types of lean we will be studying here one is called general lean another one is called particular lean one is called what general lean another one is called particular lean let me go on when the owner when the owner of the goods announced any reward when the owner of the goods announced any reward the finder of the last goods okay sir whoever is the finder if you return the goods i will pay you this money when the owner of the goods announced any reward then the bailey has a right to get that reward can you able to understand but in general not in general not it is a duty of the finder of the last goods to return the goods and it is not necessary for the bailer okay to pay any amount except for the conveyance whatever the reimbursement of expenses reward edum kuda ad for example you left you one purse a wallet utta one purse you left somewhere somebody is coming and returning the purse to you in a good gesture you are taking some money and giving him remuneration chuma na or 100 rupees thank you so much sir second he can tell what is this madam 100 rupees okay i am coming from avadi in sharato okay or uh, i am coming in this way so you please give me 250 rupees i am asking only reimbursement of expenses then you should tomorrow uh, or before that you made an announcement okay public announcement podachi okay i have very important things and all in that purse whoever is coming and delivering the purse to me 5000 rupees reward i will give so if anybody comes and give the purse to you then you should give 5000 rupees reward so it is a right of the bailey to claim the reward also so it is a duty of the bailey to return the goods the then find of the last goods amount padikrom see there are so many types of bailment one is physically when we express another one is implied okay so the implied liye id express for example there is an implied contract between you and me when we lift the goods somewhere and find out the goods ana adra i made an announcement okay i will give a reward then the bailey has a right to get the reward can you able to understand okay so come on tell me what is the maximum charges to third whether it is duty of the bailey to return even if the goods are perishable nature he can he can sell at best rate and return it to the real owner ah he can use it and he can reimburse the money adu kuda pannalam next now we are going to study lien what is a lien there are two types of lien one is general lien another one is particular lien what is general lien if a person who does work for another person if a person does work for another person and the other person has given some goods to this person he can retain the goods till the payment is going to be made i told you when i am having a car of yours and i am expended so much in this car you i asked you higher okay you are the owner of the car but the car has so much problems i incur so much of expenses now i will ask you a reimbursement if you are not reimbursing then what i will do i will hold this car this is called lien this is called general lien so whatever goods i have which is yours i will retain the goods to some time that's called what lien general lien means whatever goods you have you can retain particular liens means i worked in that goods i worked in the goods so till i getting my commission or remuneration or a uh, reimbursement i will retain the goods so general lien means any goods you can retain particular means i worked in the good that good i am retaining for example i took hire of your car but uh, today i don't have the car with me of yours i return that car but now i have something else of yours 
I will retain that. And the value I will retain that. Can you able to understand? This is general lean. Particular lean means what? If I worked something, I have done some work on it. I am retaining that. Then it is a particular lean. For example, you ask me to paint a picture of yours. I portrait. Till you pay me the money, I will retain the goods. Then it is particular lean. Can you able to understand? So you should understand the difference between general lean and a particular lean. So question number one, take matanga. Then you should have a lean. Yes, I have a lien for the amount payable. Understood? So, when particular lien can be exercised now, when there is a skill or labor involved. What is it? When, when you can exercise particular lien? When there is a skill or labor involved. When you can have a general lien for a monetary consideration, if we have any security, then it is called general lien. For example, when we give a security to a banker, when we give a security to a banker, when we are not paying out our loan, the banker is holding the security, you know, it is called general lien. Because there is no skill or labor involved. For the monetary consideration, they are retaining our goods. Then it is called general lien. When auditor, his fees is not received because the client is not paying the fees. He is retaining the books of the clients. What is this lien? General lien. General lien. Specific lien. Because the book is written by the accountant. You have not done anything. You, you did only signing of it. Signing of financial statements. First understand. Sir, apo skill labor involved. Books no skill. Ka. Your skill is not. We can tell what I will not release the audit report. Audit report no more skill involved. You can tell what I will not release the audit report, I will not release the financial statement. That is different. But books you, if you are retaining, that's called what? General lien. Can you able to understand? So, I will once again revise what I told you now. First, what is bailment we studied? In that, what we studied? When one person delivers the goods to another person for a particular purpose and after accomplishing the purpose, he should return the goods. Okay, then the bailment. bailment there can be consideration, there can be also brigracious bailment. Okay. What are the essential characteristics? Okay. It can be expressed or implied. Movable goods only. Portion should change. Okay, bailer continue to be the owner. And once the bailee return the goods, the bailer has to accept the goods. What will be the issues like umbrella? You should not give a new thing. Same goods should be returned. Okay, that is the reason we are telling when we are depositing cash, that does not amounts to bailment. Okay. Ornaments in locker, okay, because position is not getting changed. Hiring a car, whether it is a bailment. Giving goods to a friend for the personal use and getting back. Duties of, duties of bailer. Disclose defects. Reimburse the expenses. Accept the goods. Rights of the bailer. Right to claim damages. If, if there is anything inconsistent, I will cancel the contract. In case of a gracious bailment also, okay, gracious bailment, I can ask the goods to get returned before the time period, okay. But if there is any loss suffered to the bailey, I have to compensate it. Incremental benefits has to be taken. So, it is not side readings. And you have to write inside. And whenever you are writing special contracts, always give example. For example, for example, for example. Daivida Chanime Bagam example putrun. It is very important you should write example. Example is not the Otherwise, four lines from Mundido. Four points it will get over. Should write what? For example. Understood? Next, instrument material example. Fulla. 
So write example also. Whether the Bailey has to take reasonable care? Yes. Yes. Bailey has to take reasonable care. In case if the thief come and stolen? Okay. The Bailey cannot sue the Bailar alone. Both Bailey and Bailar can go to station and complain. Okay. Can a Bailey terminate the contract of bailman? Yes. yes. If the Bailar does anything inconsistent. For example, if uh, a person took a coat suit on hire, padepa, okay. So, if the owner of the goods is keep on saying, "This is my goods, this is my goods," it's it's damaging my prestige, no. So the bailman contract will be terminated because the bailer is doing something inconsistent. Keep on telling. Okay, ma'am, please don't support this. That is not enough. That is a bailment, then. An accomplishment of the objective, you should give it back. Huh? Next, duties of the duties and rights of the bailey. So the bailey has to take care of the goods. Okay, properly. You should not put for unauthorized use. Okay, you should not mix it. And anything extra profit and all you came, you should return it to the bailer. Rights of the bailey. In case if there is a non-disclosure and if I incur any expenses, I can get reimbursed. Okay. In case if there is any defective title, for example, you you lent a car for me without RC book. Or in RC book, your name is not there. Police caught me. That is not your car itself. So defective in title. Upper expenses I pay incur, I should get reimbursed. And you have right to lien till the repayment of the money. Can you able to understand right to lien? If the bailey does anything inconsistent, the bailer can cancel. If bailer does anything inconsistent, bailey can cancel. Okay. Finder of lost goods we studied. Finder of the lost goods is a duty of the finder to return the goods to whom? Okay. Owner. How much amount he can spend maximum? What is perishable nature? Sell it for a good amount and return it, uh, may pay the money to the bailer. Okay, Bailey. Bailey has to pay to the bailer. Okay. Sir, at very instance, can the finder sell the goods or he has to take reasonable step to find? So, he cannot sell at very instance. He has to take a reasonable step to find the owner. Then only he should sell. Otherwise, he should not sell. Immediately, sell. Understood? What does general lien? For the money which is spending, we can retain the property of other person till he pay the money. This is general lien. What is particular lien? If any skill labor is involved, okay, then if I retain the good, then it's called particular lien. Now we'll go to the last page of this chapter, which is called pledge. Pledge. Pledge is also bailment. Pledge is also bailment. Okay. Now, What is the difference between pledge and bailment? Abhina, you should tell advanced bailment is a pledge. In pledge, it's a security bailment for the money, for the money which is lent from one party to another party. The second party, the borrower, will give a security. No, so we are uh, uh, pawn shopper, ka? pawn broker. Adagada, pawn broker. Okay. Now, in that pawn shop, we are keeping a ring, gold ring, as a security. That person, pawn broker, is called pawnee. Is called what? Pawnee. The person who is the owner of the ring is called pawnar. Come on, tell me. Pawnee, pawnar. Who is a pawnee? Set Sakrapani. Okay. Set Sakrapani. Because we will forget who is Pani Panatriad. 
பெய்லார் பெய்லி ஓனர் பெய்லார் ஓகே ஏ ஏ ஓகே ஓனர் பெய்லார் ஓகே அப்போ ஆப்போசிட் பார்ட்டி பெய்லி பாணி சக்கரபாணி ஓகே ஹூ சக்கரபாணி சேட்டு சக்கரபாணி ஸோ இட் இஸ் வாட் ப்ளட்ஜு ப்ளட்ஜில் த ஓனர் ஆஃப் த கூட்ஸ் இஸ் கால் பானார் த சேட்டு கடைக்காரன் இஸ் கால் அண்டர்ஸ்டுடா ஓகே நவ் த கூட்ஸ் பொஷன் மூவ் ஆகுதா எஸ் த பொஷன் இஸ் கெட்டிங் மோட் ஸோ பெயில்மெண்ட்டுக்கு இருக்கிற அத்தனையுமே இருக்குது ஓகே ஒன் பர்சன் இஸ் கிவிங் த கூட்ஸ் டு அனதர் பர்சன் மூவபுள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி சி தட் இஸ் ஒய் வென் வீ கிவ் அவர் லேண்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட் டு அ பேங்கர் ஆர் அ பான் ப்ரோக்கர் இட் இஸ் நாட் கால்ட் ஆஸ் ப்ளெட்ஜ் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் மார்ட் கேஜ் பிகாஸ் ப்ளெட்ஜ் இஸ் பெயில்மெண்ட் பெயில்மெண்ட் மீன்ஸ் ஃபிசிக்கல் மூவபுள் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி ஷுட் பி தேர் அண்ட் இட் ஷுட் பி மூவ்மெண்ட் மூவபுள் கூட்ஸ் ஓன்லி ஓகே அப்போ வென் வி கிவ் அவர் பேரண்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட் டு அ பர்சன் அண்ட் கெட்டிங் அ லோன் ப்ளீஸ் டோன்ட் டெல் இட் இஸ் அ ப்ளெட்ஜ் பிகாஸ் இட் டஸ் நாட் குவாலிஃபை த டெஃபினேஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ளெட்ஜ் வாட் ஷுட் டெல் மார்ட் கேஜ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுடா வென் வி டேக் லோன் ஃபார் பைக் தென் இட் இஸ் கால் ஹைப்பாத்திகேஷன் தென் இட்ஸ் கால் வாட் ஹைப்பா ஸோ யூ ஷுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ப்ளட்ஜ் மார்ட் கேஜ் ஹைப்பாத்திகேஷன் இன் ஹைப்பாத்திகேஷன் த ஓனர்ஷிப் வில் பி வித் அஸ் ரைட்ஸ் வில் பி வித் அஸ் ஃபார் யூசேஜ் பட் அன்டில் அண்ட் அன்லஸ் யூ பே த லாஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் அ ரைட் டு செல் இட் ஆனால் யூ ஹேவ் அ ரைட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஓனர்ஷிப் ஆன் இட் பட் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் அ ரைட் டு செல் இட் ஓகே அண்ட் இட்ஸ் அ மூவபிள் கூட்ஸ் அண்ட் தே ஹேவ் அ ரைட் ஆன் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த கூட்ஸ் அதுதான் ஹைப்பாத்திகேஷன் இதெல்லாம் விட்டுடலாம் சி ஜஸ்ட் ஐம் டெலிங் யூ தெர் இஸ் அ த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங் ப்ளெட் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மார்ட் கேஜ் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஹைப்பாத்திகேஷன் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஓகே நவ் இன் ப்ளெட் வில் ஸ்டடி ஒன் பை ஒன் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் அ பெயில்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கூட்ஸ் அண்ட் த கூட்ஸ் ஆர் ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆஸ் செக்யூரிட்டி நெக்ஸ்ட் தெர் இஸ் நோ சேஞ்ச் இன் ஓனர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் த கூட்ஸ் கரெக்டா த பானார் டு பி த ஓனர் ஆஃப் த கூட்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் பாணி நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஸ்டடி ஸ்டடி பாணி see the pawn broker has to stay, take step reasonable step to safeguard my goods he should retain the goods of my goods he should take care properly sir whatever expenses which is incurred he can claim from me expenses for retaining the goods as it is or safeguarding the goods for example i have given a very costly diamond to the pony and pony has to uh, take insurance and all for it can the insurance amount can be claimed from me yes they are claiming insurance from me all the bankers whenever you give security when the banker took any insurance the banker will claim from you only that is the reason for example when housing loan you take normally building ki insurance poda matom when you take housing loan bank will put insurance for your house that amount the insurance amount will be debited from your account only this happens every year i have seen can you able to understand <coughs> so can sir uh, whether the pawner can claim that you are not preserving my property properly because of that my property value is getting depreciated can i claim yes pani first you should make sure that property is in good thing and for any extra amount he can claim understood so first we are now studying pani's rights okay if he spend more amount okay he can try to re- get reimbursement if you are not paying the amount he can retain the goods yes. general lien if you are not so right to retain idha first right to retain if the pawner is not paying the money the pawni have a right to lien on the goods he will retain the goods if the pawner is not paying the money the pawni has right to retain the goods what is this lien called as general lien sir the pawner first 
கேவ் கூட் ஒரு ஒரு ரிங் கொடுத்து ஹிட்டு கல் லோன் சே ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஹிட்டு கல் லோன் சப்சிக்வெண்ட்லி இட்டு அனதர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தட் டைம் இ டென் கிவ் எனி செக்யூரிட்டி நெக்ஸ்ட்டு இ கேவ் பேக் த ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தென் இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் தட் ரிங் பேக் த பானி இஸ் சேயிங் யூ கிவ் அனதர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஆல்சோ செகண்ட் ஒன் எடுத்தல்ல தென் ஆல் தென் ஓன்லி ஐ வில் கிவ் பேக் அண்ட் நான் கேன் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு சே த பான் ஆர் ஃபஸ்ட்டு த த நான் தான் ஓனர் ஓகே இந்த ரிங் இருக்கு ஸோ தெர் இஸ் ஒன் பான் ப்ரோக்கர் ஐ வாண்டட் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் மணி ஐ கேவ் திஸ் ரிங் டு தட் பர்சன் ஐ ஆஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஈ கேவ் மீ ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தென் ஆஃப்டர் சம் டைம் ஐ நீட் அனதர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தட் டைம் ஐ டின் டெபாசிட் எனி ரிங் ஆர் எனி திங் ஐ டின் டெபாசிட்டட் சின்ஸ் பிகாஸ் தட் ரிங் ஒர்த் இஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் த பான் ப்ரோக்கர் ஹஸ் கிவன் அனதர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் டு மீ கேன் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸோ நவ் ஐ எம் ரீபேயிங் வாட் எ ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஓன்லி ஐ எம் ஆஸ்கிங் த பான் ப்ரோக்கர் டு கிவ் மை கூட் கோல்ட் ரிங் த பான் ப்ரோக்கர் இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் சார் யூ ஹவ் டு பே அனதர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஆல்சோ தென் ஓன்லி ஐ வில் ஸோ கேன் ஐ யூஸ் திஸ் கூட்ஸ் ஃபார் த சப்சிக்வெண்ட் லோன்ஸ் விச் ஐ ஹவ் கிவன் ஆன்சர் எஸ் So, he can appropriate again subsequent debt also. Understood? Next. So, any extraordinary expenses I incurred, like insurance, okay, putting additional security, that extraordinary expenses and all, I can get reimbursed. In case, if the person is not coming and claiming his goods back at all, see, some poor fellows, they will keep the gold in the pawnbroker shop. they will never come and pay any principal as well as interest what the pawn broker will do he will give the notice summa la solla pora mudiyadu he should give what a reasonable notice see uh, adamana utru means like ela utru nu solluva ela seat okay ela utru because for so many months you are not coming so i will okay what i will do i will sell understood but after giving only notice now we we finished what uh, pawnee's rights come on tell me what is pawnee's rights right to retain till the amount is getting paid fine number 2 he can appropriate for the subsequent debts also third reimbursement of extraordinary expenses fourth after giving proper notice they can sell understood sir sell kodanga bro avan avan kondha utsu ganesha enna debt irukku adha mundu claim avayo he can claim interest also principal as well as interest he can claim against that if anything extra then he can sue that person for example the goods that gold which you have given or uh, example or or gold which you have given it is worth only 4000 but the principal as well as the interest together is now coming in 4500 as against the gold i gave only 3500 rupees to you but the gold value is 4000 rupees and i gave only 3500 but uh, for the principal 3500 rupees interest irukla adu interest principal add aayi it's now now 4500 now i can sell this gold only for 4000 rupees another 500 rupees what i will do i will sue you can able to understand or i can write it off bad also adu difference but i can i have a right to sue you okay next total like more idra da debt interest fine fine da balance plus available kudukunu that you should you see he is asking if there is any surplus then i should give it back to the owner of the goods next right of a pawnar who is a pawnar owner okay once i pay my amount i have a right to redeem the goods see i took a loan from you by giving the goods now i want to take my goods back i will pay the amount i will get my goods redeemed this is point number 1 sir within what time any pledge has to be taken back 3 years. years okay so the owner of the goods have to pay the money and get it redeemed within how many months 36 months 3 years okay otherwise what they will do they have right to sell it so, but after giving notice only they should give notice 
Next. Pani, can he ask the panar that you should take care of my goods properly? Yes. yes. Right to demand security. Okay, proper. You should take care of my goods. All reasonable care has to be taken care. Next. Any increase in profit? He can claim it from the pani. Who is the owner of the goods? So any incremental profit should come back to the pawnar. Pani la Pani Bailey Mari. Incremental benefit Arkpono, real owner Pono. Who is the real owner? Pana. So the Panar has a right to claim incremental benefits. Can you able to understand? Come on, tell me what are the rights of the Pana? Come on. Right to get back, redeem the goods on payment of the amount. Second. Mm. Within how many months I should pay? 36 months, 3 years. Third, next. Demand security. Demand security. Okay. As if other uh, reasonable care law. Next. If there is any incremental benefit, I have a right to get claim it. Understood? Next. Sir, if I gave a goods to an agent, can he pledge the goods? In ordinary course of business, with care, due diligence, if it is necessary, then he can do that. Can he pledge an agent? See, agent, we studied in our foundation and all, implied authority. Partnership we would have studied implied authority. Implied authority, they are not setting implied authority. For example, borrowings there is no implied authority. You should consult with everyone before borrowings. Then only it's called implied authority. Okay. So you can answer bar. Generally, only the owner can pledge the okay, goods. But in mercantile agent alone, the agent can pledge the goods with the consent of the owner. Such pledge done in the ordinary course of business is valid, but only with the understood. Now, tell me the difference between pledge and bailment. Tell me the difference between pledge and bailment. Come on, tell me one. Pledge is also a bailment, but it is security. <coughs> Other than security, a yeah? normal bailment. No. Security is not pledge. See, in our study material, pledge can use in Potrava. They have a right to use in Potrava. Actually, the, the pawnee does not have any right to use. But in our study material, they have put like that. Actually, there is no. This is the latest study material. Old study material, they have put right to use in Potrava. Actually, the pawnee doesn't have any right to use. Pledge always there is a consideration. But bailment, it can also have gracious, gracious bailment. Discharge of debt is discharge of pledge. Accomplishment of the objective is discharge of okay and they should return it back so <coughs> this is that uh, differences between pledge and the bailment understood uh? now we'll ask we'll discuss some examination question explain rights and duties of bailar Bailar, first of all. Ah. To get expenses reimbursed. Point number two. Ah, you should write the duties, you should accept the goods. Inform the defects in the goods. Ah, write to receive the goods back. Okay. Ah. Reimburse the expenses. Reimburse the rights, duties. Reimburse the expenses. Abroad. Incremental benefits. Hmm? Okay. Mr. B parks a car in a parking lot, but he himself has the keys. Whether this is a bailment? Okay, there is no transfer of possession. What if your answer, if it's in valid parking? 
valet parking la you are handing over the keys okay then it's a bailment seizure of goods by the custom authority whether it is a bailment yes. they have to hand over the goods after the investigation is over but in case if they are not going to hand over the goods is black money and mari extra vandana then it is not a bailment okay but as of now it's a bailment because the ownership is not transferred only the possession is transferred mr a pledged the goods okay to a bank for a loan a requests bank to give the goods for his use and promised to the bank that he will give back when the bank is getting demand திருப்பி கேட்டால் நான் கொடுத்துருவேன் நீங்கள் எப்போல்லாம் கேட்குறீங்களோ சி ஐ கேவ் சம் திங் அஸ் அ ப்ளெட்ஜ் ஒர் குட் பட் ஐ வாண்ட் நவ் தட் குட் ஐ வில் அகைன் கிவ் பேக் வென் யூ ஆஸ்க் மீ பேக் நவ் வெதர் இட் இஸ் அ ப்ளெட்ஜ் வெதர் இட் இஸ் திஸ் கான்ட்ராக்ட் இஸ் நாட் வேலிட் ஓகே பிகாஸ் இட் ஷுட் பி வித் திம் த செக்யூரிட்டி ஷுட் பி வித் தெம் ஓன்லி ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் பொசிஷன் ஷுட் பி தேர் இன் திஸ் கேஸ் வாட் த ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் பொசிஷன் இஸ் நாட் அட் ஆல் தேர் கேன் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இட் இஸ் லைக் ஹைபாதிகேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் நாட் அ ப்ளெட்ஜ் ஹைபாதிகேஷன் ஆகுது த கூட்ஸ் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் பை மீ ஓன்லி ஐ டோல் நோ வென் ஐ இட் பைக் லோன் எடுத்தா ஐ எம் ஓன்லி ஹேவிங் த கூட்ஸ் ஸோ இட்ஸ் நாட் அ ப்ளெட்ஜ் கேன் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸோ வில் ஸ்டாப் ஹியர் ஆஸ் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ go through institute material write your own notes tomorrow we'll see you here okay arrive try to arrive by 6:15 we'll start the class by 6:30 see you bye bye